welcome to my video again so in this video we will be again learning about intercropping but this time intercropping based on the plant population we know a very few things about intercropping so based on the plant population intercropping is again of two types additive series intercropping and replacement series intercropping so what is additive series intercropping in additive series of intercropping one crop is regarded as the best crop and one is regarded as the component crop here the population of the best crop is normal is recommended up to the recommended amount but the component crop has less population than what it is grown in as a single crop in any field this is the difference here the crop geometry is adjusted in the field to put the component crop in it this is additive series means adding of one crop extra crop to the main crop is additive series of intercropping it is mostly practiced in the dry land areas of india in india so the main advantage is no crop failure can be assured as because either at least one of the crops will be growing properly at the end and there is no crop failure there will be some income from both the crops this is additive series and what is replacement series of intercropping in replacement series of intercropping there are no base crops or component crops one crop is dependent or is it should be complemented to the other crop so mostly practiced in the western countries the yield doesn't matter it may it's mainly important for subsistence farming subsistence farming means for own consumption this is reliant or uh, you can say that it is a replacement series of intercropping so there are certain requirements of intercropping too and it's very important to know so what are the requirements of intercropping like if we are growing crops the crops should be complementary with each other that is they should be friendly with each other they should not be competing with each other if they compete for life compete for nutrients then it's a problem for both the crops to grow better and good give a good yield like for example if we check maize and moong maize requires nutrients at 50 to 55 days after it is being planted moong requires 30 to 35 days after planting that's nutrient requirement so these 30 to 35 days and 50 to 55 days of maize should not overlap it should not get come in the same time if it comes in the same time the problem is we cannot apply the recommended dose of fertilizers or nutrients to both the crops in the same day right so this is what about the requirements of intercropping coming to the advantages and disadvantages of intercropping advantages we can directly say that yield we get more yield more income and there is no crop failure but coming to the disadvantages what we get is there might be competition for nutrients there might be competition for water there might be competition for uh, soil conditions requirements and if any disease or pest attacks a crop in the whole crop can be uh, lost means can be damaged completely so this is all about intercropping based on plant population hope you got some information about it so thank you for watching it with patience and keep liking subscribing and sharing and learn many more topics on agriculture in my further videos thank you everyone